Hello and welcome to my review of the Ape Dog adventure called We're in Dawn. So before we look at my thoughts on the story, let's look how this audio is presented. So for the cover, we have this fantastic cover art. We have the Ape Doctor, Lucy, a Wirin, and one of the soldiers on a barren landscape. Doctor Who, and the cast, and the Ape Doctor Ident, and the spine, and the back. So do feel free to pause to know what this story is. Inside about. the booklet, we have writers and director's notes by Nicholas Briggs. We have pictures of the cast members, and we have the fabulous concept art there, which I absolutely adore and the sort of redesign of the Wirin, what Big Finish have used in the past two Wirin audios they've used. We have the next instalment of the Eighth Doctor Adventures, the Scapegoat, advertising for Doctor Who magazine, the credits, and of course, character bio on the Eighth Doctor. The and disc is the standard together. John Perry intro, but with this nice grey effect over it. Wirin Dawn um, seems to be like quite a controversial Eighth Doctor adventure, looking at reviews. And I myself think that this is a truly epic blockbuster story. Right from the off, you're thrown into the action, into this space war, just like the Doctor and Lucy. This provides us with some great action moments within the story, with the Doctor and Lucy plummeting towards the TARDIS in space, we've got spaceships blowing up, and the story really does create strong visuals in your head. The sound design really does enhance this, uh, from the sound of guns blasting to the scuttling of the Wirin, to people being ripped apart by the Wirin. To match this fast-paced adventure is the music by Jamie Robertson, who does a marvellous job with it being with there being these big dramatic moments to match the ba epic battle sequences to these rather poetic to this poetic score to match these nice character moments within the story. Now the characters. What I love about this story as well is there aren't many characters to focus on, so it's very intimate, and we really do get to explore all the characters within this story. Now the 8th Doctor Paul McGann, it's Paul McGann, so obviously he's going to do a fantastic job. Um, the Doctor really just has to improvise within the story and he has to think fast as we see him out of his comfort zone. And But what I love about the 8th Doctor in this is he's really enjoying being out of his comfort zone. He's really loving the idea of thinking fast, trying to get out of these situations. And this that really does something the 8th Doctor to me with him just improvising as he goes along um, and just in for the ride really. Uh, Lucy Miller played by Sheridan Smith. Now I haven't listened to an Ape Doctor and Lucy um, audio for a while so it's really nice to go back to them and oh, it's just so nice to hear um, the Ape, Ape Doctor and Lucy because they are really a great pairing. Um, there's a nice character moment between the Ape Doctor and uh, Lucy when um, the Doctor goes I need to go off and sort this thing and you know he leaves Lucy behind and that's a really intimate moment between uh, the Eighth Doctor and Lucy, you know, you can tell that there is a real strong uh, friendship um, within the story. Now, Lucy, like I met in many audios, she is a very headstrong character, and this story is no exception. She is still very headstrong. You know, she speaks her mind. You know, she stands up to um, Salway um, about um, killing uh, Farrell, and that's really good because we get to see the compassion of Lucy, and we get to see Lucy sort of being caring and sort of being a nurse as it were um, <clears throat> and like the Doctor we get to see um, Lucy pushed out of her comfort zone um, and we're her trying to bottle her fear so you know she doesn't crack because she knows if she cracks you know that she's not going to cope within this uh, dangerous situation. Uh, D Long played by Daniel Anthony who you may know from the Sarah Jane Adventures who played Clyde Langer. Um, he's probably the most developed supporting character within this adventure as we get a history of his family and he understands you know the secret of this planet really um, he gets a great you know he gives a great performance with this nice naivety to his uh, performance and he gets this really good character moments between uh, the doctor then we have a character called uh, trooper salway who is played by colin salmon who you may know from uh, the library two part in series four uh, i think he played dr moon i think that's what the character is called anyway um, he's a real, really sort of military character. If he fears nothing, and you get this impression that he's quite a butch character, you know, that he's you know, all hard and that. Um, now, he is basically the antagonist um, to the humans, you know, he winds up the characters up, you know, and like I said, you know, he causes some great confrontation between Lucy and the Doctor and even um, uh, Dillon, um, because he sort of has a go at him for being just a kid. So he is basically the bully um, of this dream when he gets his comeuppance, you're just like, yes, thank God. 
um, and he does a fantastic job playing this butch character, so bravo to him. Um, Beth Chalmers, um, fantastic job playing the Wirring Queen. Um, even though she's not really in it that much, she does a great performance. And the person who played Farrell, um, from what bits she did have, she was good, you know, with her transforming into a Wirren, you know, there's, there's some nice moments. You know, Farrell doesn't really come into the story until like the, the latter half of the story when we actually find out what the hell is actually going on within the story. Now the Wirren, the foe of this story, they are really a sense of danger within the story with them using their trademark elements, you know, infecting people. Um, and even when the women aren't in the story, you really do get a sense of how bad they are, how scary they are. You really do get a sense of their fear factor just by the characters talking about them, what they do. And you just think, oh, they're just creepy. And they're really interestingly played when within the story. And it's a nice twist on the whole women sort of thing because you get to explore their past when within the story. So we get a bit of a backstory between you know, what the women actually are and that. So it's a very interesting that. Um, part of the story and you know this story shows that the women um, are a force to not to be reckoned with because they are infecting people they are ripping people apart oh, they are just really gruesome and there are some really gruesome body horror bits within this story and they are really really scary actually you know just the sound design just makes you just go Ugh. Just the way they are, just them scuttling um, on top of you know the, the space pod, and they are just generally quite creepy when they're uh, sly and devious, and what Warren should be really. Um, so to conclude on this story, it is a fantastic Eighth Doctor adventure um, with exploring you know the life cycle of a Warren. Um, you know that's great, just to know more about the Warren, uh, and it's just a nice story in general, nice fast-paced action story. And if you're a fan of the Arkham Space, you're definitely going to love this because it's got the Wirren in it. It's just probably the best outing big finish of given the Wirren, I think. Wirren, a, Wirren, Wirren Isle fails in comparison compared to this. This is just a superb adventure uh, for the Eighth Doctor and Lucy and is a welcome addition to anybody's Eighth Doctor collection in big finish. So what would I rate this story? Hmm... I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Now my only sort of negative for this story is the cliffhanger. I just feel like it didn't really need a cliffhanger within the story. And the cliffhanger just seemed a bit bizarre because it just sort of takes you out of the fast paces of the story. Um, and I just think this would have been nice with just no breaks. It's just a solid story just like any other 8th um, Doctor adventure really. Because I just think it takes you out of the action. But nonetheless, um, it is a fantastic story and I highly recommend this story. Um, is just superb. Cannot recommend this enough. So thank you very much for watching this review and I'll see you in my next review, whatever that will be. So thank you very much for watching and bye bye.